where the victim has now undergone painful skin grafts at the Westchester Medical Center, and his family has hired a well-known civil rights lawyer to try and make sure justice is done in this fiery religious dispute. News 12's Carolyn Rowe is in New Square tonight with more on the story that's divided the Hasidic community there. Carolyn. Well, Brian, the family says this alleged attack is not the first act of violence against them. They say they've had windows smashed in their car, in their home. There's even been protests outside their house, and now they're saying something has to be done. He's in terrible agony. He had yesterday's surgery. It was eight and a half hours. Ruth Rottenberg says she's terrified to be in her own home as she describes her husband Aaron's pain, suffering from severe burns over 50% of his body. He suffered a three-degree burn under the arm, the whole rib, the whole this. The chest is a second-degree burn. I heard screaming, so I ran from around the house and I saw him on fire. Jacob Rottenberg says he was able to put the fire burning his father's flesh out early Sunday morning. After a threatening phone call a few days earlier, Jacob had stayed up all night to monitor surveillance cameras outside the family's new square home. He got his father when he saw someone with a mask put a bag on the porch. He grabbed him and he pulled off his mask. And the moment he pulled off the mask, the, the, the bottle that, we, that he was holding exploded. 18-year-old Shaw Spitzer has been charged with attempted murder, arson, and assault. But the family feels this goes higher than Spitzer, saying it comes from the higher-ups of New Square, maybe even the Grand Rabbi. He said that they should make us uncomfortable. He didn't tell them exactly what to do, but they, they know by themselves what to do. The family standing with their lawyer, Michael Sussman, Wednesday at a press conference outside their home calling for a state and federal investigation. They say this all stems from the fact that Aaron Rottenberg doesn't worship at the Hasidic community's main synagogue, instead goes to pray at the Friedwald Center for Nursing and Rehabilitation. They have a right to determine where they want to pray in America. Community members gathered as the family's attorney spoke of their rights. This man started to argue with him. Excuse me, if Jews live in this country as I am, they will abide by American law. Police blocked off the street and stood outside the family's home as they continue to pray for Aaron's recovery. Now, signs have been hung at the main synagogue here saying that the community does not support these attacks. They also, meanwhile, police say that um, they have no other suspects at this point.